Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, CJC Fresh 1984, on how we can troubleshoot a mental ray batch render. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have the scene from the mental ray rendering techniques interiors. Before I ever do a batch render, I always find it's helpful to run render diagnostics. Okay, so to do that, we're going to want to come to our rendering menu set, go to render, and run render diagnostics. Now when we do this our script editor is going to pop up and it's going to give us any uh, errors or warnings or anything that may cause our render to fail. Now when we come across an issue where Menoray tells us that the render is completed uh, but we know it's not, uh, most of the time that means that Menoray had an error that caused it to stop the render. So aside from the render diagnostics uh, if we don't notice anything really in our script editor, any, any significant errors, we can also check our render log. So uh, I'm going to open up my documents folder. Now if you're on a Mac, it would be under your users folder, uh, in the, your username, the library, and preferences. And there's going to be a Maya render log.txt file. So go ahead and open that up and in here we can see any sort of, uh, not just warnings, but if there were any errors or anything that caused Metal Ray to stop, it'll give you the error here. And once we know the name of the error that caused Metal Ray to stop the render, we can start searching for a way to resolve that error. Now, hopping back into Maya, um, some effects like motion blur can really take significant amount of memory to render out. So one little tip that we could do would be to force Mental Ray to use a limited amount of memory. Because right now, by default, it's set up to be automatic. So we can go to Render, Batch Render, and open up the Option box. Now in here, we'll see an option for Memory. Now right now, it's set to an Auto Memory Limit. So if we uncheck that, we could set the amount of memory. Say if we have uh, 4 gigs on our system, maybe we only wanted to use half of that just to make sure that it won't run out of memory when it's rendering. So that's a look at how we can begin to troubleshoot the uh, mental ray batch render that failed. Now another alternative to rendering motion blur directly in Maya is to render out motion vectors and then composite those in post. To learn how to do that, as well as a lot of other great tips and tricks for rendering with mental ray, I'd recommend checking out the mental ray tips and tricks course. 